Here we are in front of a painting by Rubens called Christ on the Cross Between the Two Thieves, which displays the astonishing virtuosity of his technique. This large, remarkably fresh canvas resides at the Musée des Augustins in Toulouse, France. To fulfill his countless orders, Rubens needed a technique that was both flexible and solid, rapid and durable, which would conserve his vibrant colors while at the same time permitting the transportation of his work all over Europe. Here is where we discover a different facet of Rubens, that of a man of science. He mixed his paints directly with a varnish that reacted with oil by forming a thick gel, the secret, chiosmastic. It all began with droplets of resin that were found and exist still on the island of Chios, situated between Greece and Turkey. Chios mastic comes from the mastic tree and is collected by slicing its bark. It is conserved in the form of droplets, is easily transported and was therefore often used as a gum for cleaning teeth and healing the gums. In the 15th century, mastic was the object of intensive commerce between the city of Bruges, near Rubens' workshop, and the Republic of Genoa, including the island of Chios. Mastic can be heated in a bain-marie. It then becomes liquid and protects the painting under a thick coat of varnish. Rubens preferred to mix the mastic directly with cooked walnut oil to create, via a chemical reaction, an exceptional gel that he then mixed with his colors. He obtained new paints and effects thanks to this fluid and transparent paste. His brush, soaked with this mixture, gave him great rapidity of execution, greatly surpassing the slow and fragile processes used by his predecessors. Thanks to this light and dynamic technique, Rubens had the means to realize, in a flash, his immense canvases full of life and movement, coveted all over Europe by the great and powerful people of his era.